So it runs off of two AA batteries. And see the battery holder. So I've got one in there. Don't mind any of the hanging wires, also don't touch it. So at this point the batteries are in. The way to assemble this is, this is the primary coil, this is the spark gap, this is the ground, and an on and off switch. Wherever, if the white button is down, then the system is on. So we're going to take the secondary coil with a simulated toroid and we're going to just drop it right in. And there could be touching because the primary coil is actually insulated. Um, in a regular setup, you wouldn't have the insulation on the primary coil. You'd have it freestanding and it'd be a little bit wider out so there wouldn't be physical contact with the secondary coil. But because it's insulated, there's not an issue. So at this point, I'm going to turn it on. And what you'll see is the spark gap will uh, start pushing, uh, you'll start seeing sparks in the gap. So what you want is you want it a pretty constant like this. If you get it too far away, you'll, it'll stop or it'll be very slow. If you get it too close, it'll speed up until the point where there's um, a completed circuit there and you won't get any sparking, you won't get any arcing across that gap. So you want it just sitting far enough away that it that it, you get that clicking now as you get that arcing. And of course the way the system works is you have uh, energy going through the primary coil. Uh, it's inducing a magnetic field, or it's generating a magnetic field which is inducing an electrical current in the secondary coil, which is again inducing a magnetic field off of the toroid, which will, when interacting with an electric component, generate current.